Welcome to Tutorial 3 of the Risa Floor Online Tutorial Series. This tutorial is intended to demonstrate the spreadsheet and graphic drawing capabilities of Risa Floor. Risa Floor provides tools to create or manipulate your diaphragm edges. To begin with, on the Selection Toolbar, click the Select All button to make sure the entire model is selected. On the Drawing Toolbar, click the Create or Modify Diaphragm Slash Slab Perimeters. Since the entire model is selected, your new diaphragm edge will encompass all of the defined beams and walls. Click Create a Diaphragm Edge. After clicking Apply, you will see a purple border has appeared along the perimeter of your model. This is the edge of your diaphragm. On the Drawing Toolbar, Click the Create Diaphragm Perimeters button to open the dialog box again. Select Create an Opening Perimeter. When creating openings, you will primarily use the first option to click within the bays for the opening. The second option may be used when there are members that frame through the opening. Select Click Within or Box the Beam Slash Wall Perimeter for the opening. Also. Select the Keep This Dialog Open after Apply is pressed checkbox. After clicking Apply, click in the bay that's in the lower part of your model. Go back to the dialog box and select Draw a Polygon Around the Beam Slash Walls for the opening. After clicking Apply, draw a polygon around the radial bay in the upper section of your model. Double click at the end and your opening will be complete. Click close to exit the diaphragm edge and opening perimeters dialog box. You have now created your diaphragm edge. The next step is to review and modify the deck properties that are assigned to it. To specify the properties of the deck, it is important to understand a little bit about how the deck spreadsheet works. On the main menu, click Spreadsheets. Then select Deck Properties. For the concrete deck, change the max span to 12. Next, Click within the material type cell of the second row, which is your composite deck line. Click on the red arrow to open the deck selection dialog box. Here you can scroll through the various deck types to see the available options. Click cancel when you're finished. Next, Click on the Loads tab and review the loading input options, the self-weight of the deck, the superimposed dead load, and the construction dead and live loads may all be specified in the Loads tab. Next, you will learn how to apply these deck properties to your floor. Each floor has a default deck and a deck angle that will be used for the entire floor if no other deck is defined. To review and modify these defaults, select Spreadsheets from the main menu. Next, choose Floors. Under Area Load Default, select Office. Under Deck Default, select Composite Deck. Under Deck Angle, enter in 0. Unless you specifically assign a new area load or deck to a region of the floor, these default properties will be assumed to be applied over the whole floor within the diaphragm edge. Since your model has some areas where the default slab and orientation will be different, assign a new deck angle to these areas. Click close to exit the spreadsheet and return to the model view. On the drawing toolbar, 
select the Assign Diaphragm Edge and Deck Properties button. In the Deck Type box, select Composite Deck. Under Deck Direction, select Parallel to X Axis. After clicking Apply, draw a box around the area between F5 and J10. Next, press Control D to reopen the Deck Assignment dialog box. In the Deck Type, select Concrete Deck. Under Deck Direction, click Angle from Z Axis and enter an angle of 45 degrees. Assign this data to the two radial portions of your model by boxing them in. Risa Floor gives you two ways to plot the deck graphically. The first is to plot the deck properties as they are defined. The second is to view them as they are resolved by the solver and applied to the members. We are going to view the loads as applied. On the main menu, click View and select Model Display Options. Select the Points, Decks, Diaphragms tab. Make sure the Show Deck Assignments checkbox is selected and select As Applied. After clicking OK, you will see that your image has changed. Notice the differences between this plot and the previous plot. In this plot, you can verify the location of the openings. If you move your mouse over the various decks, you will notice in the lower part of your screen, the deck type and orientation option information are displayed in the status bar as you move the cursor. Since the next section deals with area loads, you can turn off the deck display. On the main menu, click view and model display options again. Confirm that you're still on the points, decks, diaphragms tab. Clear the Show Deck Assignments checkbox and then click OK. This is the end of Tutorial 3.